What's that sound? It's coming from the sky over there. Is it an Imperial Army airship? What in the... Is that the thing they... Why is it here? You you can't be! Oh. He really came. Whoa! This is amazing! Sorry for leaving this to you, Reen. We're counting on you. Right! Meddling brats! Come forth, my proud Drakens! Finish it off while we still can! It's no threat when it doesn't even have a weapon! Yes, sir! Okay. Shouldn't need to worry about fighting on borrowed time like before. We're up against an awful lot of them, though. If only we had some kind of weapon. Oh, that won't be an issue. There are plenty of potential weapons right there in front of us. <laughs> Clever. If that's what you have in mind, we'd best concentrate our attacks on one of them and snatch it away as quickly as possible. That's the plan. Valimar, here we go! Acknowledged. All right, you ready? That it worked. This is where the real battle begins. Yeah! That's Irene! That was quite an impressive plan. Huh? Are your arcuses resonating with one another? Go ahead and show me what you can do! This can't 
be happening? How can it be this strong? Well, what's it to be? We can do this all day if you're still not ready to give up. Ugh. Lame! He's got this. That he does. He's turned this whole situation around. Sir! This battle isn't over yet! We still have the advantage in numbers! We can surround him! Victory will be ours! ENOUGH! What? That sounds like... You're kidding me! Ah! Ted? The 4th Armored Division? How are they here? They're supposed to be dealing with the force from the Transcontinental Railroad! Bah! Nothing more than a small diversion! And I suggest you turn and run off with your tails between your legs! You don't want to share their fate! Unless you men think you can handle the might of the 4th Armored Division! <sighs> Curse you, Craig! Fine! If that's how you wanna... Are you alright, sir? A sniper? Where are they? What just happened? Who the... I've taken out the commander's sensor. What's the situation with Zephyr? Both are standing by at 5 o'clock. No signs of movement. Acknowledged. Ignore them for now. Focus your attention on the highway instead. Yes, ma'am. If she can aim that precisely from that far away, we're likely in her sense, too. The icy maiden has certainly earned her reputation. Wouldn't want to try my luck against her. Not right now, anyway. Not much we can do while she's all the way over there. Besides, uh, I think it's about time we called it a day. We're taking off, Fee. See you some other time, okay? Be sure to keep up with your training. You'll need it if you want to make it through this war unscathed. Bye-bye. Who do those damn Jaegers think they are to retreat without orders? All units, fall back! We're returning to the Twin Dragons Bridge! Yes, sir! Phew. Looks like we're safe now. Hey, nice work out there. Whew. I felt uncomfortably close to death one or four too many times. At least it's all over with now. Dad! Thank goodness you're alright! Elliot! That's the famous Craig the Red, huh? Looks like the real model of a scary-ass military officer. About that. That's what everyone thinks at first. Oh! My beloved gift from Adios! <laughs> wh wh why did you talk? Come here into your father's loving embrace! N no way, Dad! I mean, I'm glad you haven't changed, but... Uh, th 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 Nonsense! You were raised in my arms, my boy. What's another two or three minutes more? I can tell you've lost some weight, but you're otherwise as fit as your fiddles. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> you too. But you're seriously hurting me now. Please loosen your grip some. That thing I said earlier? I take it back. <laughs> yeah, everyone reacts like that. Elliot seems really happy, though. Yeah, it's great to see them together again. I'm pleased to see that everything went well. Uh, I thought it was you. Looks like you're from the Railway Military Police. Then you must be... It's a pleasure to see you again, Captain. <laughs> Likewise. And, yes, sir. I'm Captain Claire Revelt of the RMP. It sounds as though we have plenty to discuss. Perhaps in a more fitting location. Follow me if you would. I'd like to begin by congratulating you on making it all the way here. I'm overjoyed to see you all again. The same to you, Captain. I had no idea what had happened to you after Heimdall's occupation. It's a huge relief to see you made it out okay. <laughs> Funny. 
I was just as concerned for all of you. As for you, I believe it's the first time we've had the pleasure of meeting. You're Tobal Rondinor of the Bracer Guild, yes? One of Sarah's co-workers. Wow, you've actually heard of me? Though, to tell you the truth, I've heard more than my fair share of stories about you from Sarah, too. Kinda surprising to see you with the 4th Armored Division. She got in touch with us soon after the war broke out, in fact. She then mobilized the RMP to guide us to this proving ground so that we could establish a base. We wouldn't be here now if not for her. Wow, really? I see your ability to make good, quick judgments is still intact. Reorganizing the divided divisions was of the utmost importance. I simply did what I had to do. I was concerned about His Excellency and what was happening in the capital, but he always told me to act objectively in times of crisis. Oh, my, my apologies, Captain. I'd almost forgotten that she was right there in the capital when her boss was assassinated, and by none other than Crow. Oh, yeah. Where's Instructor Neidhart, anyway? I thought he would be here with you, Dad. He hasn't been back to this division, no. We had no idea whatsoever of his whereabouts until a few days ago. But then, he was finally able to get in contact and inform us that he was well. That's good news. Either way, it sounds like you can't be too careful. This base is held so far, but there's no guarantee that'll always be the case. I wish I could deny that. The Noble Alliance is starting to put more and more resources into trying to finish us off. We know how to deal with their soul dots, which evens the odds, but we're at a disadvantage when it comes to supplies. True. This isn't the best location for getting outside help. The longer the war goes on, the harder it's gonna be to hold out. That said, we have no intention of giving up without a fight. Our enemies have occupied the capital and effectively taken the citizens, as well as the Imperial family hostage. Even should the goddess forgive me, I damn well won't! You don't need to yell quite that loudly. Besides, I don't think you'll find many who are willing to forgive them. Although, if anything, I'm just worried about how Fiona's doing. Yeah, I'm worried about Dad, too. I'm afraid I don't yet have any specific information regarding Heimdall's current situation. With control of the railways taken from us, we're limited on what we can actually do, I'm afraid. Sounds frustrating. Regardless, it's my turn to ask all of you something. Bearing all of what we've just discussed in mind, what do you intend to do from here on out? Well... Good question. You don't have the raw power that the Alliance or the Imperial Army's got, but you've still got a pretty significant weapon at your disposal. You need to think long and hard about how you intend to use it. Oh, I agree completely. Valimar's power is incredible. That much is definitely true. These past few days have left me with no choice but to accept what I have. He can take on multiple soul dots at once and still come out on top. If used the right way, he could maybe even change the direction of this war. Keep in mind, it's all dependent on the strength of his Awakener. I hate to toss aside the subject of war so frivolously, but we also need to find some way to rescue Elise and Princess Alfin. If we focus on that, it makes perfect sense for us to support the Imperial Army and fight against the Noble Alliance. But... Lieutenant General, I'm afraid that we can't answer your question at the present time. At the very least, not until we've heard everyone's opinion. Oh? Hmm. We hate what the Alliance is doing as much as you do. So, in that sense, we want to do what we can to help you fight against them. But I don't think it would be right for just the four of us to decide without everyone else's input. Yep. We need to find everyone else before making such a major decision. We make our decisions together. That's how we roll. For now, we solely want to put our focus on finding the rest of our classmates. Then, and only then, will we decide how best to approach this war, and what we as a class can do to help end it. I see. Once a member of Class 7, always a member of Class 7. <laughs> Can't say I'm all that surprised. Very well. You may have been separated from Thor's, but you still have every bit the spirit of a student. And it is the duty of students to absorb the world around them. Go forth, and when you're all together once again, find your role to play. Only then will I hear your answer. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. I apologize for not being able to give you a better and more immediate answer. Not at all. What you said was perfectly reasonable, Reen. You will hear no objections from me, whatever path you choose. I hope you see it through to the end, with all the inner strength and conviction of 
the son of Erebonia. That said, I'm conflicted about sending my dear Elliot away without proper protection. Should I send a company of troops with him? That might not be enough. He needs airships as well. Dad, stop. This is so embarrassing. He really is the most doting father I've ever seen. I bet a hundred near of the war would be over in no time flat if the Alliance ever tried to kidnap Elliot. <laughs> well, if how would you like me to accompany you? You, Captain? Are you sure? You're currently using Ymir as your base of operations, correct? Not only could I use my knowledge to better fortify it, I could also handle communications with other regions from there. This could be a good chance to reach out and find Milium as well. I haven't been able to contact her since the war broke out. Oh, works for me. To be blunt, Ymir's borders are wide open, and the Alliance could take advantage of that at any time. We can't have another incident like with the Jaegers. Bringing her back just might be our best defense right now. I hate to admit it, but you're right. We need to swallow our pride and take help where it's more important than all of that. I know we can trust you. You're right. Exactly. Captain Claire, we'd be honored to accept your kind offer. Welcome to the team. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. In addition to my duties as a member of the RMP, I hereby pledge my support to everyone in Class 7. keep you waiting for so long. Oh. You're not in uniform. 
I'd be something of a walking target if we were to travel to any Alliance-ruled areas dressed like that, after all. This outfit doesn't look too strange on me, does it? Uh, no, absolutely not! You just look so different in it that it took me a moment to recognize it was you. <laughs> yeah, it really suits you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I feel like I'm surrounded by horny teenagers all of a sudden. Can't blame a guy for falling for a pretty girl, Fee. It's what we do. I think this is one mystery about humans I'm content not trying to get my head around. You're all ready to depart, then? Dead! I've given my subordinates their orders. They will be backing you up as best they can in my absence. Should you need anything, let them know. They will be able to get in contact with me if need be. Very well. Leave everything here to us. In return, I will be counting on you to support the young lions of the Academy. I will, sir. Elliot. I'm astounded by just how much stronger you've become in less than a year. You might not appreciate me saying this, but everything you've done has just confirmed in my mind that sending you to Thor's was the right choice after all. Honestly, Dad, I feel the same way. It wasn't what I wanted to do originally, but if not for enrolling there, I never would have met all of my friends. So while I couldn't imagine I'd ever feel this way at the time, I'm really grateful to you now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear Looking at you now, it's clear that you're finally ready to forge your own path in life and make your own choices. As such, once this war is over and this nation is back to the way it was, if you still wish to live your life as a musician, you will have my full support. <gasps> you actually allow that? I'm true to my word. You needn't rush to decide what you want to do now, though. I imagine that if you keep fighting alongside your classmates, you will eventually realize what you want to do. And a choice reached after long, serious thought is not one you will regret. <gasps> Thanks, Dad. To tell you the truth, I'm really not sure what I want to do anymore. But by this war's end, I'm sure I'll know too. That's my boy. Well, I wish all of you luck and good health. Thank you. Bye then. The best to you too, sir. Take care, Dad.